Hey guys, this is FXP Attributes. Today I would like to make a review about Dreamboard, which is a more sophisticated tool than Winterboard, which allows you to put themes on your iPod. I'm sorry for not making videos for a really long time. I had school and exams, and I couldn't find a time for making a video. So this video is about Dreamboard and about the new update, which is 1.1.4. So if you didn't if you didn't see the previous versions of Dreamboard, this version is a lot better. And if you watch the videos about the older versions, you'll see the big difference. So let me just sync my iPod with the computer and we'll begin. Okay. So right now you see my iPod and it's on its original theme. So let me just open Dreamboard and you'll see what's gonna happen. As you see, we have a D icon right here, Dreamboard. Let me just open it. And as you see, you see this really cool menu in which you can choose themes. Right now I have only two, the default and the Andre. The Andre theme is really cool and sophisticated and I'm gonna show it you right now. So let me click on it. Okay, so as you see here, it's the theme and I'm, I'm just going to show in this video this theme, but there are many more themes um, to come. So first of all, you're going to see this really cool menu with the clock um, of the Android and um, the weather. And actually the weather is really it's from the country I'm in, which is Israel. So you can see Tel Aviv, the Afo, um, which is from Israel. So if you click on the eye on the upper right, you can then just a sec well it's not working right now because you need an internet oh yeah it is so um, you can enter the zip code of the place you're in uh, but I, I think it's not gonna work in any place so you should just you know go into weather.com and then you're just gonna see on the address a special code on the URL so you just copy the code um, and put it right here and then you click OK and it should tell you the it should change to the place you're in um, if, if there will, will be um, a lot of questions about it I'm gonna just make a separate video and show you how to do it so you, you're gonna see this menu and if you scroll your iPod you're gonna see this small tab um, in this tab, you can select three websites right now. Before it was only Facebook, and right and right now you can choose Twitter, Facebook, and one more site. Um, except that you can go to the right, and here you're gonna see other apps. You can also edit, which I will show you later, and change the apps you wanna see here. Um, also, if you look on the background. It moves you see it's really cool um if you if you click on the plus um, below on the right you're gonna see this menu in which you can choose um, your stuff so for instance I'm gonna click on this and And then you're gonna see on the weather right here, as you see, it's like shining, like an animation. But I'm gonna close that up. Um, also, you can go into editing mode. You see, welcome to editing mode, tap on the, any app, app icon, 
and to change the icon so for instance we don't have an icon here so I'm gonna click here and then you're gonna you can choose any app so for instance I would like to choose um, backgrounder for instance as you see and, and then we just we just click on the home button and it's out of editing mode um, so as you see I put an icon right here of backgrounder it's really cool um, so let's see what do we have more the options I'm just gonna exit out at the thing mode and and also a good thing is wallpaper in the wallpaper you can choose um, a few wallpapers um, for your dream board um, so for instance I'm gonna choose the actual Android background and as you see it's like an Android but let me just switch to the original one because I prefer the theme I've just had okay so the last option is a web widget a web widget is like the Facebook or Twitter or Google as you see yeah, let me just do it again Here you just can scroll and choose a widget. So for instance, I have a Facebook, I'm gonna choose the Facebook. And that's it. And when you have an internet connection, you're gonna see the Facebook right here, if you scroll left. So it's really cool. Um, and if you see the arrow um, on, the, on the down um, right left side of the menu, this arrow it will go like on the Android and show the apps okay so if you click on the arrow again you gonna see all of your apps like on the Android which is a really cool feature so thanks for watching this video um, let me just show you the last option of course which is the dream board button if you tap it you're gonna go um, into your um, dream board menu and then just gonna select the default option so thanks for watching I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and rate it um, see you later